All right, a lot of people are going to wonder what they're looking at because got a lot of new people to the channel, but I want to let everybody know that I still make cups. I still make custom tumblers. If you go to our website, richcreationsco.com, it's always down in the link below. Um, at this moment, what you're looking at is a 17 ounce soda can cup, but light cup that we, we are now offering. Um, it's on the website for pre order. And then what you're going to see next is a Harry Potter cup that we also are offering. We're just trying to show y'all the different types of cups that we can make. Um, I'm still doing the powder coated cups and we're still selling our non toxic teas. And this is one of the ways that I keep the channel going. Um, one of my businesses that I have, this one with my sister. So, also, I want to thank everybody that has bought something off of the website, whether it's a t shirt, a cup, keychain, sticker, whatever. Um, that we really appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. Let's go ahead and get back to the regular program. We're, we're going to do a channel. All right, say it all in one. And last time we just cleaned the car. And tell them, it's what? It's 9 o'clock. Your mama gonna watch this. She gonna be mad. So tell her, it's okay, mama. It's okay, mama. We watch Uncle Mo's car at night. So, so it don't be mad. Yep. <laughs> okay, all right, let's start the video and then do like this. Let's start the video. Other way, mm -hmm. other way. All right. No, not because you have to. So we watching the car. We we going to the car meet in the morning. Yeah. And we watching the car at night because we don't want to roll up there all oh, dusty, right? Yeah. So I got Dallas helping me, y'all. The quality is not gonna be all that for a couple of for about a minute or so. So. Oh oh, I'm gonna drop the. I didn't even foam the car down in it. I just sprayed it with water. Put some. And, and you already, your car's dirty. I know it's dirty. That's why we washing it because we don't want it to be dirty when we go to the car show. We could go. Say, this is, the, this is the last car show that you go to this year. Yep. Hey, y'all. Uh, we can go ahead and switch to in the morning. <laughs> I promise y'all the neighbors don't hate me. Probably the one and only time that I'm gonna be starting this up at five o'clock in the morning.
so we over here at the detail garage not too close my truck and um, it's gonna be a little windy because I forgot the attachment for the mic so I can put it on the phone but Dallas is gonna take over real quick so Dallas is gonna be recording it for me a little bit so go ahead and say your little piece pick it up you don't want to record no more oh my god Oh my god. Alright, let's go record. Here, hold it. There you go. That's a picture. I guess I don't know. More like they're looking for the more like professional. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Over here. Hold my hand. Straight to work on this truck. 
Um, right now I'm about to do the seats. Pretty much done with everything else, like the door panels and all that stuff. Just need one little quick wipe down and a vacuum. Um, right now I'm about to work on the seats, so I can see. It got a couple of stains on it, so. Um, but after I hit this, I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna tell you something that I just learned. All right, y'all, so we, we back from the uh, grand opening of the um, Detail Garage in Round Rock, so shout out to them. Uh, pretty good turnout, nice, some nice cars showed up. Uh, my favorite was the uh, Lincoln Continental, that's my favorite, I ain't gonna lie. Something about a, a old school, but um, what I'm about to do is I'm tired as hell. I'm, man, I can't even explain to you how tired I like. I've been up since probably, I got like maybe four hours of sleep because I stayed up, edited that video for Saturday, then turned around and um, got up at 5.30 and got Dallas ready, got Ella ready and all that. So I'm tired as hell. Um, but the grind don't stop. Gotta keep grinding and gotta keep going. Um, like I say, it don't stop. But all the stuff that I be doing, y'all, like, the mentality behind it is, like, so, like, people say, like, you gotta, you gotta crawl before you walk and walk before you run and all that good stuff, you know, but my mentality behind it is, like, I'm trying to do all that, so I'm doing the crawling, the walking, the running and all that stuff, and then when, it, when it's my daughter turn, all she gonna have to do is spread her wings and fly, that's it, so... That's the mentality behind it. When, when, when it's her turn, when it's time for her to do her thing, she, everything is set for her. She's good. To the, she's set up for success. And um, I think a lot of us need to need to start doing that for our kids. Let's set them up for success. Not mm -hmm. 